Hello everyone, Mimikins here. Today I'm going to look at more of the weapon changes the expansion brings. This video will feature content from the beta for Charge Blade and Switch X. I have already covered all of the other weapons, feel free to check them out, as well as general game changes coming in Iceborne. If you like my content, please support the channel by liking and subscribing. Let's start off with Switch X. This weapon can use the flint shot like all other weapons which consumes all your slinger ammo to send the monster reeling. The Switch X has two weapon specific attacks it can use while latched on with the clutch claw. If you're in charge sword mode you can do a zero sum discharge which deals the most damage, although it has a longer animation. If you don't have the sword charge you will do the regular attack which will create a weak spot so you and your team will deal more damage. Switch X has seen a few changes particularly to axe mode. The Wild Swing combo on Axe can now be finished with a heavy slam which powers up the Axe making it easier to flinch monsters. The weapon icon will change to signify your weapon is powered up. This combo feels so satisfying to use. You can actually shorten the recovery time at the end by using a small sidestep as seen here. You can also use the Slinger Burst within the Wild Swing combo to gain some distance to avoid attacks. It's much faster than rolling out of the way. It works with some other axe attacks as well, helping the axe mode feel more dynamic. Another thing I've noticed is that Fade Slash has been reworked to provide you with even more mobility. This is what it looked like before the expansion. Now this is it in Iceborne. It's a small change but it can really make all the difference in avoiding an attack. The other changes are related to the elemental discharge combo. You can interrupt this move by pressing L2 for a claw shot. If your sword doesn't charge you can latch on to do a weapon attack to create a weak spot or use flint shot. You can of course just activate it like normal. If your sword is fully charged, you can latch on and continue with zero sum discharge for some nice damage. I think Capcom are trying to encourage more axe play, which I'm all for. I love the wild swing combo, and that heavy slam just feels like it was always meant to be there. Adding in extra ways to avoid attacks was something that was needed in Switch X, as certain actions would make your character vulnerable to being hit. Let's have a look at Charge Blade. This weapon, like all others, can use the flint shot while grappling onto a monster. It has the weapon specific move which creates a weak spot on an enemy. It also puts you in Axe Mode. Axe Mode has been buffed in Iceborne. To enter the new mode you want to start your wind up to an amped or super amped discharge, then press L2 to activate Savage Axe Slash. You will need at least one file for this, preferably more. During this stance you will notice a new axe icon has appeared underneath your health bar, and your files will slowly start to deplete. Once all the files disappear, either through time or using a skill like super amped elemental discharge, you will exit the mode. During the power axe mode, attacks with the axe hit continuously, adding much more DPS to axe mode. According to the weapon manual, the effects differ depending on the blade's file type, so it's a shame we only had access to one file type in the beta. I would have been interested to see how elemental damage compares in the beta after being impressed by QR elemental charge blades in the base game. You have access to slinger burst, which like other weapons provides shortcuts for skills. For instance, in Sword and Shield mode, pressing L2 after guarding a hit to fire a Slinger Burst will enable you to go straight into Elemental Discharge 2. This might not sound like a huge deal, but bear in mind Slinger Ammo can flinch or KO a monster, and these few extra seconds can help make sure you land your super amped Elemental Discharge. If your guard skill isn't high enough and your character gets knocked too far back, you won't be able to use Slinger Burst. For those of you who love to use guard points in their gameplay, Iceborne brings a whole new skill called Defensive Guard, which will increase your attack power after a perfectly timed guard. Overall, I feel Capcom are trying to open up new ways to play. Both weapons encourage you to utilise axe mode more often. While some people may prefer to stick to their usual playstyles, having extra options is never a bad thing. 
axe modes were underutilised in Monster Hunter World, so it's nice to see some buffs to make them more relevant. I'm particularly happy with the Switch Axe's wild swing combo, it's got to be one of the most satisfying moves in Iceborne. Thanks for watching, please support the channel by liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.